beautiful morning here in central Minnesota. A couple of the boys going out to do some work. Gotta go hop in the old low boy truck and pick up a loader. E60 for going up over there. You got an outlet out here this year, we had to wire it up. That's pretty sweet. Have a nice designated plug-in for your tractors. It's kind of nice. Haven't had that in the past, that's for sure. Right, let's fire this baby up and get on the road. Choo, she's chilly. She's chilly. Bobtailing ain't cool, so I will see you guys at the job. Here, looking for the loader. Middle of nowhere, it's supposed to be here somewhere. Not exactly sure where, but we'll find it. It's supposed to be back over here somewhere. Tap, tap. Whoops. So just like pushing a wheelbarrow, you always wanna turn around before you load up. Had the old girl plugged in, so that was nice. Hopefully she popped right off. I think that thing's seen better days. Here's a little cross day. Firing this up so that it can warm up while I unhook the low boy. It's the efficient right way to do everything. It's the most efficient way I know how to do this. Def, def codes and check engine light, it's always a good sign. Got my little pal here, my little operating buddy. Oh yeah, pops right off. Pops right off. Let's see the heat. Really I forgot where the heat is and up in this thing. Oh, heat's up here. Get this old girl warming up. So even though this this low boy is kind of weird, even though we're on the ground right here, you want to pull these cylinders in to about there because otherwise you have a hard time getting your pin and crap unlatched. Not this time though. No. Works good there so you want to suck these just all the way in even though you don't have to. It's one of those one of those things. Put the old flapper down. I remember to take those off. One of our guys put the down, undid the pin, and drove off and ripped all the lines off one time. That was fun. Again, breaks off. I'm gonna hold the wheel nice and straight. Some little boys are pickier than others, but sometimes if you don't hold it straight, you turn, it can be a bear to get back on. PTO off for now. Get her loaded up. And just for the record guys, I am by no means a professional low boy driver. I know enough to get it done. This is just what works for us, how it works. So take it out with a grain of salt. If you've been doing this for 30 years, I'm sure you know much more about this than I do. So give me a helpful tip in the comments below. So there's some frozen snow and ice and a little bit of buildup in that bucket. 
I don't want that falling out as I'm going down the interstate. So I'm gonna come over here to the pile and see if I can shake her out. So what I've learned in the past is you wanna get this puppy going out here straight, otherwise it's rather difficult to get it turned. If you gotta turn, do any turning of any type on the trailer, it's kind of tough. So you're better off just getting her lined up straight and sending it. Definitely gonna want the tag axle down for this one. Take a look. This side looks almost perfect. That was, was that luck or that skill? But she's perfect right there. She's beautiful. All right, chain her down. big iron some people this is some giant iron some people it's tiny everyone's got a different perspective which is cool all over your nice jacket ah, it happens though at least that means the guy's been greasing the equipment if it's greased all over it means it's well greased if it's dry everywhere it means it probably ain't been greased all right so right when i was about loaded up i was putting a chain over this bucket and because you know you gotta have some kind of securement over the attachment even if it's hooked to the machine to my understanding chain fell off the top and tink broke that airline right there so by the time i went and found a place that had that coupling unhooked the truck took the truck to the fleet pride and got that coupling now we are good to go. So finally, after an hour, we are ready to hit the road. Let's get on it. Go running and hiding, and the weeks go slipping and sliding. 
years leave quicker every time they come. Everything was in reach I know it's hard to remember Oh how the years they vanish I always wanted to learn Spanish And travel around South America Made it to the shop Off we go Make sure when you back off to the low boy, you got enough room, you know, back into your tractor. Gotta probably wash this thing, move some snow around the yard here, and uh, then bring the loader back out to the snow site. So, all right, well, that's that. Hook back up the low boy, fuel her up, and park her for the day. So, thanks everyone for watching. Really appreciate it. Like and subscribe if you'd like. If not, no big deal. And remember, it is what you make it to be. We'll see you on the next one.